Hi, I'm Ronnie Smith. I'm Susanna Love, and together we run Ronnie Smith Kennels in Pahuska, Oklahoma. Our family has trained dogs for nearly a century, and along the way we have learned a thing or two. Here are some simple methods to make life with you and your dog more enjoyable. One of the critical components of training is a dog's mindset. And when we say the mindset of a dog, we want a dog looking to us for leadership, a dog that is looking to us as part of their team. When that dog gets in that, that ideal learning mindset, there's a change in their body. They kind of relax. They, they lose a little bit of tension. You can see it in their back. Their eyes get softer. Instead of the dog having their own agenda, they're, they're looking to, to work with you and to do something with you. Even with these two dogs, so we've got, obviously we've got an older dog here that, uh, that has been around and, and had a, a lot of training. And in his mind, it's apparent that his mindset is different. Uh, he has joined up um, and, and looks at us as, as the leaders of his pack. Um, and, and just has that learning receptive mindset. We've got a first year dog here um, who is a, is a wonderful dog, um, but she's young and uh, um, keeping her attention uh, is key because without her attention, you can't teach her anything, but keeping her attention is difficult, as you can see. <laughs> Giving this dog something to focus on will help her to become that mindset over there. Just time and consistency and a job will help her become that reliable, steady individual. One thing that's important to remember when you're working with an animal is that they're not just learning when you've decided you're gonna spend 10, 15 minutes in a workout. They're learning and they're building behavior 24 hours a day. So if you're living with that animal every time you ask something, it has to be consistent, not just when you're working on a, on a set exercise. And it's your obligation to be consistent and make sure that you're building that consistent behavior. It's something that you have to teach and then you have to manage so that it becomes behavior. If you, uh, if you only uh, enforce it or manage it periodically, then you have intermittent behavior. Um, so it's key to, once you make that, that commitment to, uh, <laughs> Once you make that commitment to, um, to be diligent and stay with it. 